Hi, it's Sayun Boche here. Once again, thank you so much for following our adventure in British Columbia. Finally, after all these episodes, we have come to an end. You know what? Well, since British Columbia is where I'm based, so in the future, we're definitely going to explore more uh, of this great province. Uh, for now, we're ready to move on. At uh, first, I'd like to give you an update on our Instagram special contest. So back when we launched the first episode of our Haida Gwaii adventures, we started this special contest on Instagram. It's called One Sub for One Dollar. That means for every single one new subscriber we get, uh, from that point, we'll be donating $1 towards the Red Cross for those in need. Especially uh, when there's so many people on the other side uh, of this planet who need help right now. In the beginning of our Haida Gwaii series, uh, we had a total of 767 subscribers. And uh, by the time our last and final episode of our Haida Gwaii Adventures, which is also our final episode for the British Columbia Adventures, we had 871 subscribers. So during this whole time, I think for a course of four months, we had 104 new friends who have joined our adventure together. And uh, as a result of that, 104 Canadian dollars have been donated to the Red Cross. And of course, for future contests and also the details, please check out our Instagram page if you have already done so. And make sure you follow the Instagram page and also the Facebook page. That being said, we're going to have another uh, smaller contest coming up as well. But first, I'd like to talk about uh, traveling in British Columbia as first-time visitors. We're going to talk about uh, what to do or where to go if you only have a week or what's the alternative if you have two weeks or maybe more. And for that, I'm actually going to a very popular destination here in British Columbia. Hey, it's Sayun and Boche here. Today I am in Whistler, so this is the city that's uh, famous for its uh, skiing slopes and this was the place where uh, some of the uh, uh, events of the Vancouver 2010 Winter Olympics were held. Yeah, I think it really depends on uh, how long are you going to stay in this province because BC is a huge province. It's probably the size of Germany and France combined. So uh, within this huge geographical area, of course, even uh, with two weeks, uh, I don't think you're able to see everything. So it really depends on how long is your vacation here. So for one week, I would say uh, maybe stick to Vancouver and uh, Victoria area, Southern Vancouver Island. I think that should give you a good introduction to this province. And of course, if you have one or two more days, I highly recommend just maybe go beyond Vancouver, Victoria a little bit. Maybe for Victoria, you can go to Nanaimo and for Vancouver, probably uh, like the Chilliwack area. And of course, if you have two weeks and that's a lot of time, so you can maybe add uh, the Okanagan area or maybe if you're reading into the uh, history of the gold rush then you can definitely try out the uh, the caribou road like the one we did in our British Columbia series. Yeah, like some of you might ask uh, why don't you recommend Haida Gwaii? Uh, we did a series on this amazing place but the thing is Haida Gwaii is really hard to reach uh, even if you're departing from BC and uh, also, as you can tell that the preparation work is very uh, long and uh, to some extent uh, difficult or unique, depends on how you see it. Because uh, even people over there, they have problem um, getting connected to internet. And of course, nothing is really confirmed until last minute. They might even cancel everything uh, in the last minute. So that's why for those who want to go there, if you're not really prepared, like you're just here first time for quick visit in British Columbia, uh, I would say probably don't do Haida Gwaii yet. You know, it's more like niche tourism. So just for those who are really interested in Haida culture or ecotourism, in that area but anyways since we're already in Whistler why don't we do some winter sport
go. All right. Oh, this is more fun. I'm gonna go for another one. We're gonna do the harder one. We'll see how that goes. Ready? <laughs> yeah. There we go. Oh, what the hell? We're not going the right way. Hope those tips can help you to plan your trip to British Columbia better. And, and as for our next contest, so I'll be sending out this postcard uh, I got from Alert Bay. And uh, and all you have to do is uh, uh, leaving your suggestion in the comment section and let me know if there's anything you like or you don't like about our series so far. The deadline for eligible participation will be July the 30th 2022 at 2359 Pacific Time. The winner will be announced on our Instagram page on July the 31st, 2022 at 12 o'clock Pacific Time. The only requirement is to have a valid postal address that postcard can be delivered by Canada Post and its global partners. So it's pretty straightforward and I look forward to all your comments. As the restrictions uh, have been relaxed and uh, international traveling has been slowly going back on track, that means there will be more exciting adventures ahead of us. And I can't wait to visit more places and share more of my travels with you. Again, this is Sayyid Mboche. Thank you so much for following my adventures. And uh, despite we're saying goodbye to BC for now, well, I can't really say goodbye because this is where I'm based. But hey, aren't you curious where we'll be going next? So make sure you hit the subscribe button. Then you're not going to miss any of our new episodes. But you know that our adventure doesn't stop here. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.